Layton, Farm Week began celebrating its 35th anniversary last fall. Well, now this year we have rebroadcast some stories from days gone by, and our first fits that today. It aired originally in 1996, 17 years ago. It's about providing turkey habitat on your property. It's presently turkey hunting season in Mississippi, but to have turkeys now, you need to provide habitat year round. You can do that and still have excellent timber production. It's an early March morning in southwest Mississippi. If anyone can lay claim to the thrill of the hunt, it's turkey hunters. They're eye to eye with an animal that has keen eyesight and clear hearing. They try to talk turkey by imitating its language while covered in camouflage clothing from boots to hat. When you're out in the woods hunting turkeys, it's easy to forget why the turkeys are there, or in some cases, not there. The reason is habitat. The better your land suits the needs of turkeys, the better your chances of having them. Turkeys are creatures of forest land habitat, and uh, over half of, uh, half of the southeast is forested, uh, much of that in private land, so producing turkeys on private forest land areas is critical. Like many animals, turkeys need a varied habitat to be successful. They can live in hardwood or pine forests. With the increase in the value of timber, many landowners are cutting trees and replanting them in pine plantations. In the future, turkeys will need help from man in order to maintain their present numbers in Mississippi. The key to having a good wild turkey population is production. We've got to have successful nests and we've got to have good survival of the poles. And so habitat proper habitat for nesting areas, um, brood rearing areas, feeding, courtship, the whole thing uh, has to be provided. And we, we achieve that habitat with a good mix of forest land habitat and openings. Stewart says turkeys can do well on land that ranges from as little as 15 percent open space up to 65 percent. Logging roads such as this one with wide shoulders can become important areas for turkeys to raise their young. Turkeys will normally nest within 10 to 20 yards of an opening, a roadside or an edge like this. And uh, we've got pretty decent nesting habitat here in this pine forest, although uh, it probably does need a burn, and that will help open it up some and produce more food. So the, the hen will bring them from the nest out into brood rearing habitat, and uh, they can pick up grasses, and the hen and the poles later on will use these roadsides to pick up uh, oh, a lot of seed heads that are going to be produced here with some of these grasses and, and different weeds like that. Some of the more favored foods would include hard mass like acorns in the fall and winter, uh, green stuff in the spring and summer, seed heads late in the summer that you might find out in a, in a grassy field. Uh, these are, are important foods and surprisingly to some people, uh, pine seed is a very good turkey food. So in, in years when we lose our acorn crop or don't have an acorn crop uh, to speak of, then uh, pine seed can be very important, along with nearly any year, even when we do have an, an acorn crop, they'll use pine seed. Stewart says it's important to put gates on logging roads to keep out traffic and thereby encourage turkeys to use the areas. In pines, turkeys prefer older, thin stands, which have been controlled burned on a three to five year basis. The open understory provides food and cover. In pine plantations, Stewart says research shows turkeys do the best in trees two to four years old. The main goal is to control burn and provide open space. But if we can get into pine plantations fairly early with a, a burning and thinning program, uh, provide some openings, some permanent openings in with that pine plantation, we can produce good numbers of turkeys and and achieve our objectives there for the wild turkey as well as white-tailed deer and other species. Providing openings for turkeys applies to hardwood forest settings as well as pine. This Claiborne County beef cattle operation is owned by the Covington family. It's 60 percent hardwood timber land and 40 percent pasture. Since turkeys nest on the ground, it's important to avoid mowing pastures or burning too early in the spring. If we can avoid practices such as bush hogging and disking or burning during the nesting season, say from mid-March through 
uh, June or July. Uh, ideally, we would cover most of the nesting season then. At the Covington farm, they wait until the latter part of June to mow, and even then, they leave some pastures unclipped. Well, about five years ago on the place, we went into just, we really want to make it look good, so we clipped down all our pastures, and which it looked pretty, but it was pretty detrimental to our turkey population. We noticed after the first couple of years that we we're seeing fewer and fewer successful hatches, and uh, we contributed to it. There just wasn't enough brood area, so that's what we did. We came back in and left some areas so that the hens would have places to, to raise their little ones. If we do need to bush hog or, or clip a field uh, during the nesting season, if we can leave a perimeter area around that field undisturbed, uh, then uh, that will also help us because most of those nests will be around the edge. Another way the Covingtons keep up turkey numbers is not to harvest every bird they see. No year old males known as jakes are taken and the killing of older gobblers is limited. We don't kill any jakes at all, and on our, our big gobblers, even in those cases, even with 720 acres, what I try to do is limit it to three gobblers, and in special situations, if we see we've got plenty of birds, we will go ahead and kill four birds off here, but four is the maximum we'll kill off this place in any one year. On this particular day, Covington called this jake in close before the turkey saw the farm wheat camera and decided he should go. Is the work to produce turkey habitat worth the trouble? For some, it is. I get more pleasure out of just going out and listening to the birds gobbling and calling to them and watching how they respond, how they react. From southwest Mississippi, I'm Artis Ford reporting. We'll go to our Farm Week website if you'd like to see this story on turkey habitat. Website, farmweek.msucares.com. You can also find us on Facebook and YouTube. We'll also have some links there to help get you started into providing habitat for wild turkeys while you're growing your trees for timber. <clears throat> and Lane, one thing about it, of course, you know I like to turkey hunt, and it is a lot of fun to watch them, to try to get them to come in, and of course you see other animals while you're out there, but you really can get good timber production and turkey production at the same time. You just gotta get out there and provide them some areas to, to nest in and some areas to feed in and such as that. Uh, and maybe your neighbors won't shoot them all off your property. <laughs> <laughs> you hope anyway. <laughs>